I'm Dr. Roger and this question is from the March 2020 U.S. exam non-calculator. We have a table of values for a polynomial and a choice of four graphs on which one matches the table of values. If you look at the positive x's, the point 1, 7, and 2, 30, 1, 7 is plausibly on choice A, choice B, choice C, and choice D, and 2, 30 is off the scale for all four, but it's plausibly on there. Let's look at x equals 0. At x equals 0, f of x should be 2, and that matches A, it matches B, it does not match C, so C is clearly wrong. Choice C is clearly the point 0, 0, not 0, 2, and choice D is a plausible match, so it's A, B, or D. At x equals negative 1, f of x should be positive 3. This, that might be close within the limits of my sketching and the thickness of the line. This is definitely wrong. At negative 1, we're more like 0. We're not above the y-intercept. We're below it, so b is wrong. And choice d looks very close to 3. So it's either a or d. Let's go to x equals negative 2, where f of x is also supposed to be negative 2. Choice a, f of negative 2, the y value in x is negative 2, is positive, not negative 2. Choice d, the y value at x equals negative 2, the first grid line to the left of the y-axis, looks reasonably close to x, a y value of negative 2. So choice D is the correct answer. College Board often asks you to go between a table of values, a graph, and an equation from any of those to any of those, or to a word pr problem. So make sure you can, can convert the descriptions of functions from one form to another, and come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.